Man City versus Yeovil at the Etihad. Here we go then. Let's see if we can pull off a shocker at the Etihad. We are still sixth place. We're only about seven points off the top four. Every time I have a good idea on this game, the game's AI is like, actually, no. Oh, Salah! Oh, that would have been a great goal. Oh, Paddy Madden played the most Kevin De Bruyne-esque pass ever. Damn, this is hard against Man City. Super hard, but we've held on, and that's respectable at least. Neymar gets challenged there. Forgotten Man City had Neymar in this game. And it's half time. It's nil nil still. Crossed in. Uh, come on. Yes. Good play to stop Man City from scoring. Salah. Could this be? Could this be? <sighs> Salah. Pantillamon saves for Man City. Salah almost scored. Over the top. It's Madden. Yes! Come on! Come on! We got a goal away from home at the Etihad. Come on! Yes! Oh, over the top by Grant. And Madden pushes his way through. Smashes it in. Yes! Yes! If we're going to win a match, we have to win against Man City, surely. Just boot it clear. Just boot it. It doesn't matter where it goes. Thank you, Grin. Thank you. And we've won against Manchester City away from home. We've lost every single game we've done. And then we come to the Etihad and <laughs> we beat Man City by one goal to nil in the 87th minute thanks to Paddy Madden. That's amazing result for Yeovil. That was well earned as well. It wasn't like, you know, we were coasting in that game. That was well earned. Man City had a low... Well, they only had one shot, but they were just so frustrating in the midfield area to break down. Yeovil versus Chelsea then. See what happens. We beat Man City, so we can easily do it against Chelsea if we want to. Crossed in. No. Overhead kick, but it went... It was offside. I think that was De Bruyne with the overhead as well. Chelsea decided to keep De Bruyne in this timeline. And it's helped them massively. Considering that, you know, obviously he developed the way he developed. Crossed that in to Joel Grant. Oh! Joel Grant again. Ah, oh, two overheads in one sitting. Joel Grant. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. Look at that. Oh, that was so close. In front of um, the Yeovil Town faithful. That would have been amazing to score. We've definitely improved from the earlier stages of this stream. Where we were struggling against other teams. Good ball. Oh, we could have... Oh, what's going on? Is that a penalty? No, I don't think it is. Is it? Is it a pen? David Luiz is going mental. It might be a penalty. It might be. It is a penalty. Come on, we got a penalty against Chelsea. Right. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Paddy Madden steps up. For this one. It's in the yellow. I ballsed it up, didn't I? Oh, off the bar. Oh, yeah, I balls that penalty up. Yeah, I balls it up. I put it in the yellow and I didn't expect the bar to be, well, that quick, I guess. And Chelsea scored. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, Chelsea has scored. That is 1-0 to Chelsea. They got lucky, man. We should have scored that pen. Well, they scored again. That's 2-0. That's Van Ginkel, I think, that scored that one. Oh, OK. Well, 2-0. They really made us pay for that missed penalty, didn't they? 2-0. Lost against Chelsea. Um, bio waste. Uh, Salah's got a few goals. I think he's got like five, I think. He got a really important uh, goal against Stoke City um, to help us there. But we just dropped against Chelsea thanks to Hazard and De Bruyne. Only a few games left to play now then. It's literally just the biggest teams in 
the league now, Man United, Tottenham, Liverpool, Arsenal. I think that's the biggest games we got. And then we got Aston Villa at the end of the season. We have to beat Man United. I have to. Please. I hate Man United so much, man. <laughs> I want Yeovil to beat Man United here. What kind of team have they got? I mean, it's not brilliant, is it? That team, that Man United team, it's not brilliant. Like, they got still got Valencia. They still got Welbeck. They still got Fellaini. Kagawa. Are they really relying on Kagawa to try and, like, go for on goal? I mean, it might work. Antonio Valencia to... For Laney, okay, well, he almost scored that. I recommend Ben Amos earlier, but now I see that he actually starts for Man United, so he's probably expensive. Yeah, yeah, he's quite expensive player. Oh, deep cross. Manchester United. I'm going to cross it. Off the post. <sighs> that was actually young as well. Yes, we scored at Old Trafford. It's Paddy Madden. Straight away. Paddy Madden has scored at Old Trafford. It's 1-0. Yeovil. What a pass this was. It was literally like they thought it was offside. They thought it was offside. But no, Madden slots it in and it's 1-0. Yes. That bet. Oh, Salah's injured again, man. Oh, my goodness. Again injured. This game's a joke. Salah went down and... Oh, sprained ankle. That's not too bad. Man United injured Mohamed Salah on purpose. Just so they can, like, try and get back into this game. So I, I'm forced to bring Rooney on. Yes! We beat Man United away from home at Old Trafford. We beat them away from home. Come on. Come on. Rooney against his former club. We beat Manchester United. Love to see that. We've been beating the big teams, but then losing against the smaller teams. How does that make any kind of sense? Let's try and beat Liverpool now. I wonder who they got. Have they still got Suarez? Have they still got Sturridge? Have they still got these players? Hmm, it'll be pretty cool if they do. We've got four more games to play, including this one. And, um... Well, the highest we can probably finish, like I said, is either 7th or 6th. Yeovil versus Liverpool. Both of my favourite clubs. Madden. Uh, come on. Yes! It's Paddy Madden again. Paddy Madden has scored. And that is 1-0 to Yeovil Town at Anfield. Yes! Come on, we're going to get Europa. We're getting it. Saku made the mistake and smashed it straight in. Ass pass on the ball into the middle of the box. Uh, yeah, it crossed in. That was almost out, by the way. It was almost out. And it's half time. We are 1 0 up over Liverpool away from home. Come on, man. Come on. Back to back wins would be crazy. They look scared, man. I mean, yeah, like Liverpool here are not as good as even what they were in 2014. It looks like they butchered a lot of the squad here and just kept some of the players that we actually got rid of in real life. Like, you know, Luis Alberto and players like that, you know, players that didn't succeed at Liverpool. I think we're going to win this game. That's two 1-0 wins on the bounce for Yeovil Town if it stays like this. It is. Two 1-0 wins on the bounce. Come on. Come on. We're going to get Europa League. We're getting it. Come on. Paddy Madden again shines for Yeovil. Uh, this Liverpool squad, clearly not the best Liverpool squad I've ever seen in terms of career mode and that. Usually they're a little bit better than this. Spurs, can we get a third win on the bounce against Spurs at home? It is possible. There's only about three games left to play. We have Arsenal after this game and Aston Villa. Those are the games we need to try and get Europa League. Go on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's a corner. Corner to Yeovil. And um, that chance was very, very close to going in. Vardy. Jamie Vardy with the volley, but it gets blocked. Crossed in. 
No! Oh, Keeper, come out for it, man. I wish the newer FIFAs had the Brazilian leagues. They just scored that. They just scored that. What is going on? Ah, oh, was that Harry Kane that scored that? I think it might have been. Or it might have been Ericsson. I'm not sure. But that's 2-0 to Tottenham. Oh, <laughs> Dawson puts it wide. And, um, yeah, well, that's our only chance, I think, of doing anything. Just end the game, ref. That's all you need to do. Thank you. We've got two games remaining of this stream. It's Arsenal and um, Villa. We still got a chance for top four, but we've already played a game in hand on some of these teams, which is super frustrating. Yeah, okay, it's rectified itself now. And um, this is um, the situation. We're four points behind with two games left. We need Man United, Newcastle and Everton to drop points. So, uh, Yeovil versus Arsenal. And then after this, Villa. And then we'll find out who will get top spots. Oh, uh, Cavani, no. Cavani whips it in. Headed out by Shaw Luca. And that's a goal. The defending wasn't good enough on that play. I tried to get rid of it, but it didn't let me. Sadly, sadly, sadly. But, okay. Well, we've, we've bottled top five. We've bottled it 100%. No, oh, that's a goal. Damn it. Another goal and Arsenal have scored. Well, it's not the season ending that we wanted. Have it. Yes, it's 2-1. Come on. Paddy Madden. Madden with the chip. Oh, it's cleared off the line by Arsenal. <laughs> oh, Yeah. Arsenal can just score like that, can they? Okay. Well, that's game over. Oh, Jack Wilshire as well. Man. Arsenal about to beat us. Not going to get top five, unfortunately. Not going to get top five, sadly. But, you know, it was Arsenal. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay to lose to Arsenal. We'll check out the table before our final group game. If we finish, if we get three points and everybody else drops down, then we might finish sixth. We might finish sixth. I hope so, but I don't think we can get Europa League. Chelsea won the FA Cup in the end, 2-0 against Southampton. A little bit of a shame that Southampton didn't win it, but that's okay. Um, what about the Champions League? Is that done yet? No, it's not done yet. Manchester City won the Europa League. Manchester City won the Europa League. Here we go. Final match of the season. And um, yeah, it's against Villa. Madden. Yes, it's a goal. Paddy Madden has scored and that is 1-0. We've given ourselves a chance for this top six place. Come on. Away from home at Villa. We caught him on the break. And Madden was just sprinting towards the Villa goal. Over the top. Here comes Vyman. You better not, dude. You better not. Do not ruin this momentum that Yeovil Town have right now. Oh! <laughs> okay, they scored. Okay, all right. Well, they crossed it in. Header. And it's always headers, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a save, but it's a goal. No, Villa, why, 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 why do you have to do this? It's the last game of the season. Are you playing for anything, Villa? I don't think you are. Aston Villa are just absolutely owning me. Absolutely owning me. Oh, my God. It's over, man. It's over. Our European push is, is um, yeah, 100% done we're just playing for pride everybody else is winning as well that we don't want to win Arsenal are winning just like what happened with Sunderland um who else I can't remember uh Burnley as well that's another goal for Aston Villa that's a goal that's a consolation 4-2 Ed Upson with the goal 
I don't know why you're celebrating that much, really. We bottled European placement. So, yeah. <laughs> we got we got two goals against Aston Villa. That's it. That is the end of the season. We lost 4-2 against Aston Villa. Not a bad result, really. But when I was pushing for uh, top six, it is a bad result. But, yeah, I don't know where Aston Villa were in the table. I think they were, like, um, I think they were basically, like, you know, um, mid-table, I think. So we're just going to wrap the, the stream up by um, finding out who gets promoted, who gets relegated in the next season. And then if you want me to do this again in the future, I can do it again in the future. Bayern Munich won the Champions League. So there's your Champions League winner. Player arrival. Van Dijk has arrived as well. That will be a very important um, player for next season. Um, okay, we can find out who actually got promoted. So, Bolton got promoted, uh, Reading got promoted, and it looks like Watford, no, Watford were in last season, weren't they? Um, West Brom, West Brom got promoted. Yeah, so basically the normal people got promoted. So a new season is on the horizon, but sadly guys, that is going to be the end of today's stream. I <laughs>